In this video, we'll be covering the different types of chemical reactions and how to classify um, chemical reactions based on the basic chemical reaction types. There are six basic chemical reaction types, um, combination or synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, combustion, and acid base. Combination reactions allow us to take two substances, put it together as one. Decomposition reaction is the reverse of a synthesis reaction. So in the forward direction, you will have a synthesis, and in the reverse, you'll have a decomposition. Single replacement reactions are which you have one species that swaps out one of the other species on another reactant. It's just like swapping out dance partners on a dance floor. Double replacement is when you have both species of uh, reactants that swap out. So let's say there are two, two pairs of couples on the dance floor and both couples swap out um, their partners. Sometimes in a double replacement, you may have two aqueous solutions and when you put them together, you have a precipitate that forms. And we will take a look at the rules that you use to determine if a precipitate forms in just a moment. Combustion reactions are any reaction involving a hydrocarbon, something that contains mainly carbon and hydrogen atoms that are oxidized, remember that word, in the presence of oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. You will always know a combustion rea reaction by its reactants and products. Acid-base neutralization reactions take a base and an acid, and they come together to form water and a salt. So we will be taking a look at a couple of those as well. You can see a metal hydroxide is gonna be a base, and our acids are hydrogen plus some type of non-metal or polyatomic ion. Let's take a look at the rules for determining precipitation reactions. Here we have a set of rules that we can use to help us determine on the left we have the rule where you have the different types of ions and you have exceptions so let's say nitrates are soluble however silver nitrate is not Right, so you look on the left side compared to the right side. We're gonna use these solubility rules for a couple of examples. Okay, <clears throat> let's take a look at uh, these chemical reactions and we're going to classify them as um, one of the basic chemical reactions and we're gonna determine if it's a double replacement reaction, it, can it also be classified as a precipitation reaction? and we're going to determine what the precipitate is using these solubility rules. Please note that these reactions are not balanced, so we're not looking at conservation of mass here. We're just checking to see what type of reaction we have. All right, I'm going to do the first three, and you can pause the video, do the last two, and I will come back and give you the answers for those last two. So let's take a look. The first one we have sodium chloride, plus silver nitrate gives us sodium nitrate and silver chloride. Notice we have, we have a set of partners and another set of partners, and what they do is they swap out with each other to make our products. And so here we have a double replacement. Well, since it's a double replacement, we want to make sure that um, we either have or don't have a precipitate. So we have sodium, sodium nitrate, and silver chloride. If we take a look at our rule sodium, it says here that, where are we? All nitrates are soluble except for silver nitrate, um, which is slightly soluble, and we have silver chloride. So if we look at our halogens, it says that halogens are soluble uh, except when they are mixed with silver. So here we have silver chloride will be our, um, is going to be our precipitate. 
Let's take a look now at the second problem. We have ammonia combining with hydrochloric acid to produce ammonium chloride. Notice we have two reactants and we only form one product. We have two species coming together as one, so that is going to be a combination or synthesis reaction. Notice that we can use either of those terms, combination or synthesis. Synthesis is the more chemical, the more chemistry related term. All right, next one together. Aluminum chloride plus sodium sulfate gives us aluminum sulfate and sodium chloride. Notice again, we have these two partners that swap out with each other. And we end up with two new substances. So once again, we have a double replacement. Let's check our products to see if we also have something that is a precipitate. Well, aluminum sulfate. Most sulfates are soluble. We don't see aluminum here on our right side, so that means our aluminum sulfate is soluble. And sodium chloride is what? Table salt. We already know that table salt is soluble, so yes, we do not have a precipitation reaction here. Pause the video and solve the next two, and I'll come back and give you the answers. Okay. Let's take a look at zinc plus sulfur to give us zinc, sulf zinc sulfide. Well, we've got two reactants. We've got two reactants becoming one, so we have a combination reaction. If we take a look at the very bottom reaction, once again, we've got two partners that swap out their, they swap things out. And so we have, once again, a double replacement reaction. Let's take a look and see if we have a, uh, we have a precipitate. Notice that halides, halogens are soluble. Aluminum is not on the list, so we've got barium sulfate because, uh, where are we? Sulfates are soluble except for, except for barium right here, okay? Let's try some more. I'll do the last three, and you guys can stop the video and do the first two, and we'll come back and give you the answers. All right, here we have a carbon-containing compound. It's got mainly carbons and hydrogens, plus oxygen, and we end up with carbon dioxide and water. What did we say in the beginning of the video? Anytime you see a carbon-containing compound plus oxygen, carbon dioxide and water, we automatically have a combustion reaction. Magnesium hydroxide plus sodium plus, excuse me, sulfuric acid gives us magnesium sulfate and water. Hmm. We have two partners, and our partners swap out, right? Our partners are going to swap out. So we have a double replacement. But this is a special double replacement reaction. What do we have? We've got something that's got an OH. And we've got an acid here. It's got hydrogen plus a negative polyatomic ion. So what kind of reaction do we also have here? Remember, we end up with a salt and water. So this is an acid-base reaction. as well. Is it a um, precipitate reaction? No, because sulfates are soluble and, um, and they're also soluble in magnesium. So we don't have a, we do not have a um, precipitation reaction. Last one, let's take a look. This looks similar to the previous reaction because we have an OH. However, we don't have a hydrogen attached to that SO4, so it's definitely not an acid-base reaction. But notice that we've got a swapping out of partners, so it is double replacement. Let's check our rules to see if we have a um, precipitate. And it says most hydroxide salts are insoluble. 
The exceptions are these, and they are soluble. So what do we have? Copper hydroxide, copper two hydroxide is not soluble. So we've got this CO, CuOH2. Pause the video, solve the first two, and I'll come back and give you the answers. Okay, hopefully you pick decomposition for the first example because we have one substance breaking down into two. The second one is a single replacement because notice that iron and hydrogen swap out partners in our reactants. One more set of um, practice together and then you guys can do the rest on your own. Let's take a look at, let's take a look at the second one and the fourth one. Iron plus O2 gives us Fe2O3. Notice we've got two substances to give us one, and we've got a synthesis reaction. And we've got ammonium nitrate breaking down to give us dinitrogen oxide and water. So we have one substance breaking down into two, so that must mean we have a decomposition reaction. Take a moment, pause the video, solve the remaining three problems, and I'll come back and give you the answers. Hopefully you saw immediately for the very first problem, we got a carbon and hydrogen compound plus oxygen gives us water and carbon dioxide, combustion reaction. Number three, Notice that we've got one partner swapping out with the other, so we've got a single replacement reaction, and the same thing happens here at the very bottom where we have a single replacement reaction.